Hello, Mike Doe here at Melco, part of the applications team, and today I want to show you some shortcuts on the keypad. Hear this a lot. Man, I wish I could do an applique pause from the machine, or I wish I could, um, you know, override a trim immediate. Well, this video is going to show you how to do that. First one we'll do is we're actually going to talk about how to override a trim immediate. So the first thing we're going to do, we'll start the machine up, let it sew a little bit. Once we get to that position, we'll go ahead and stop it. And so if we were to try to move or do anything, it's going to come up and say trim required on the screen. So to kind of, instead of having to walk over and press this on the screen, we can actually do it right from the keypad. So there's two things. If there's actually thread in the, the cloth like there is right now, we can do a real trim immediate. So that's the adjust and the trim of the needles. And so that'll go ahead and trim it. If the thread was not in the cloth, so we'll go ahead and start it back up a second. We'll go ahead and remove the thread. So the thread is not in the cloth. We can actually push the adjust and the frame button together. So once again, to override a, um, a trim immediate is adjust and frame. So as we push that, you'll hear the machine beep at you. And now we can go ahead and take and move the design um, or do whatever we needed to that was being blocked by that trim immediate. So once again, trim immediate override, adjust and frame. The next one is going to be we move that design over. Let's say that there was some reason we wanted a new position to start sewing. Once we move to that, to hold that position, we're going to push the up and the down arrow to hold that position. So once again, the up and the down arrow together. Machine will beep at you. Once you hear that, now if we start it up, instead of returning to the old position, it'll, sit, it'll stay right where it was. Um, let's say that you want to move, but you want it to return to that old position. You push the left and the right arrow together, and that'll take and make it go back to its old position. So once again, to return to the last stitch sewn position, left and right arrow together, take and move you back. Up and down arrow will hold the new stitch position that you move to. Left and right arrow is going to take and um, move you back to that old position. Once again, we'll just kind of tack these on. The override for trim immediate is adjust and frame. And then the last one I want to show you is how to do an applique move at the keypad or at the machine. So I can take and push and hold the down arrow. So push and hold the down arrow. And approximately three seconds later, the machine will move into that applique position. To get it back, all you have to do is press and hold that down arrow, and the machine will beep and move back into position. So let's walk through all three again. To do applique, you push and hold the down arrow till it moves. To get it back in, you push and hold the down arrow, and it'll move back. To do a return to last stitch position, is the left and the right arrow, left and right arrow for return to last stitch position. To stay at new stitch position is the up and down arrow. So once again, stay at that new stitch position, up and down arrow, and then to override a trim immediate is the adjust and the frame. Adjust and frame to override a trim immediate. I hope these tips help. Thank you very much. Purchase your new machine today by visiting SewingMachinesPlus.com or by visiting one of our retail locations.